There are two six-sided dice in the game of cat and mouse. One die has two faces labeled with ones, two faces labeled with twos, and two faces labeled with threes. The other die has two faces labeled with twos, two faces labeled with threes, and two faces labeled with fours. An experiment consists of rolling the two dice. Number one, use a tree diagram to help list the sample space for this experiment. A tree diagram is appropriate here because this is an experiment that naturally can be decomposed into two stages. So we start here, roll two dice. We're going to roll two dice. And the first roll, first roll can be either two, three, or four, because the first die has a two, a three, and a four on it. The second roll. can be a 1, a 2, or a 3. And it doesn't matter what happens on the first roll. So when the first roll is 2, the possibilities for the second roll are 1, 2, and 3. If the first roll is 3, the possibilities again for the second roll are 1, 2, and 3. And if the first roll is a 4, the second roll could be, again, 1, 2, or 3. Now this first branch represents the outcome 2, 1. That is 2 on the first die, 1 on the second die. The second outcome represents, or the second branch represents the outcome 2, 2. The third branch represents the outcome 2, 3, and so on. I think we have the idea. So for question number one, we can write the sample space like this. The sample space is the set that contains all the outcomes. And we started listing them, but we're going to finish the list here. We have 2, 1. 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 1, 3, 2, three, three, four, one, four, two, and 4, 3. There are nine possible outcomes to this experiment. Number two, what is the probability the total of the two dice is greater than three? So for number two, we're going to go back to the tree diagram and identify those outcomes where the total of the dice is greater than three. Looking at the branches, one at a time, 2, 1, that has a total of 3. That's not going to have a total greater than 3. 2, 2, this one is total 4 here, total of 5 here, total of 4 here, 5, 6, total of 5 here, a total of 6 here, and a total of 7 here. So we want all of these branches, so we need to... Um, so that means there are eight, eight of the nine possible outcomes give a total of uh, greater than three. And since each outcome is equally likely, since uh, each number here has a probability of a half coming up, because there's two, sorry, one third of coming up, because there are two twos on a six-sided die, that means the probability is one third of getting a two, one third of getting a three, one third of getting a four, and so on. Same with the one, the die that has the one, two, and three. There are two of each number on the die, so each number has exactly the same probability of happening, and altogether, each outcome in the two die experiment has a probability of one-ninth of occurring. So they're 
equally likely. And we can just say the probability of getting a roll greater than three is eight nights.